it's going to be a busy day. What up, Mule? Paul's here. I'm here. Sean's here. Rob's here. I've got to show you the new van as well first before we do anything because the new Mule van looks unbelievable. That thing's a monster. It's had a full lift kit on it. Mule roof rack on the top. Bravo snorkel. They've put Bill Steins underneath. They've just gone to town on it. So that is literally the Mule's donkey van. It looks mean. And I think uh, that's what Rob's going for with his. He wants a lift kit on, new wheels on, roof rack on, the lot. So that looks uh, something else. See, I don't like this, this rust. And these, when we bought them, these didn't come painted either, which is uh, not good. So if you are thinking of getting one of these um, other wheel mounts, that's um, some of the... Um, bullshit you're going to have to deal with yeah because the bolt in here comes loose and this starts rattling and no matter what you do it comes loose and then like i showed you on the actual the the unit itself it was just um rusty ours is the same uh, when we got it it needed to be painted which was a massive shock um hmm. and then yeah the damage it does to your vehicle is a uh, not good really, not good at all. But thankfully, Mule are here with the solution. For us coming to Mule is an absolute dream. The guys at Mule are absolutely amazing people. Everything that Mule put out is built on site. Everything is designed on site, it's then cut on site, it's then folded on site and molded into whatever they need it to be. It's also then welded on site as well and everything is done in house. A lot of companies outsource a lot of their jobs to be done by other companies. For us, Mule is the perfect example of a British company. The guys at Mule are great and they know what to do and they've been doing this for years. Fabrication is in their veins. Links will be in the description below. They are an absolute gem to work with and they are such nice people. He's done, done. finished, he's done. Only take, only taking 14 hours. <laughs> so now we've got to get this thing off. Get a proper wheel carrier fitted. When you are getting the mule wheel carrier fitted, you do need 180 inches or hinges, as normal people call them. In Liverpool, we just call them hinges. I um, don't know what they call them up here, but the hinges. So you need them. One for the top, one for the bottom. Kev, the uh, master fabricator extraordinaire, is about to change the hinges. So yeah, Kev's there uh, changing the hinges for these ones, which um, hmm, are going to last a lot longer than the old rack. Now if you haven't guessed, once the um, old ones are off, the new ones get fitted. Get fitted expertly by the way, by Kev, the fabricator extraordinaire. Right, so we've run into some issues here. Uh, the problem is, Sean's dad, right, who helps out with the fitting sometimes, he's not happy with the door placement. So he's determined to get the door line, like, perfect. Good thing about the mule racks is it doesn't matter what size wheel you've got, the actual bar can be moved up and down to accommodate whatever size wheel you've got. So the spinner goes on and then through there you get a lock. There we go, that's it, with the lock on. We've had the wheel carrier, and Paul has had the wheel carrier and the box. The big box. We still don't know what Paul's going to use the box for, but 
he's now got the big box. And also on the top here, you can get the pillars that come out for the bike rack and then fasten it to the box. So Paul's now full time with his van. It's literally fully muled up. It's got the back box, the rear wheel carrier, the roof rack, the side ladder. It's just, you gotta admit, them boxes are quite sick. I mean, if you had your wheel underneath your van, you could technically have two boxes and they do do a bigger box as well. That's the smaller of the two boxes they do. The other one is absolutely massive. The amount of stuff you could get in them boxes is unreal. So, looking good. You happy? Yes, very, very happy. Very happy. Very happy. Been a money well spent, eh? To be fair, we did order this off Sean two months ago, but obviously we've been a little bit broken, so we couldn't do it. Um, Paul's admiring his box there. And then like we showed you before, the wheel carriers have your lock on and then this spins off and the wheel doesn't fall to the floor, it still sits on the carrier so you can just take it off. So great design and the weigh the same weight as the one we took off. That whole rack, in fact I probably go so far as to say it probably weighs lighter, but made of aluminium. It's not going to rust, it's not going to fall off, it's not going to come apart. It's put on properly by the guys at Mule. I'll leave all the links in the description below to Mule if you want to get in touch with them, if you're interested in things like this. They do all sorts. They do the light brackets that are on the front of our van as well. So the likes of those little light brackets there, they do all the likes of them. And they do them for all sorts of model vans as well. Like so the, the Citroens and the boxes like Rob's got. Um, obviously the Crafter and the sprinter like Paul. We've got the single light bar on the top of ours. Paul's gone for the double light bar, but he's also got the brackets as well for the lights. And again, he's got the, um, the side ladder as well. Right, that's me done. So I'm gonna leave these guys. As I said, down below will be the links to Mule. Go and check them out. Couldn't meet and you couldn't go to a more friendlier, nicer place to get stuff done to your van. They're, these just know what they're doing. Nothing that comes out of this unit will ever break. It, it's not going to fail and it's probably some of the best money that you'll spend on your van. So we are made up that we got a rear wheel carrier because we've been looking at them for a while and we just thought, right, bite the bully, let's just buy one. So that's what we did. Right. I'm going back to Liverpool now because I'm kind of missing my little Emma. <laughs>